Okay, now these will go a little bit quicker now that we've set some kind of foundational ground rules as far as our time value analysis. But let's do a re kind of a quick, quick recall and take a look at this question. And hopefully you should be able to solve it now because you have the magical power of able to um, predict, calculate correctly what a future value sum is of a lump sum. So let's remove my picture off of here and reveal the question. So assume you inherited $10,000 at the age of 20 and invested it for 50 years until you were 70 in securities earning 10%. Securities are stocks, when you ever hear that word used. Earning 10% per year. Yeah, I hope that's guaranteed, right? Nothing's guaranteed in the stock market. How much will you have when you retire? Well, hmm. How are you going to do this? Well, remember that longhand method where you can calculate it using exponents? Well, that would be the exponent of 70. Uh, you could do it uh, using that, but we're going, to, we're going to use that calculator on the website, that arachnoid.com website. We're going to use that calculator. So let me bring that calculator back. And let's look at this. Let me look up the... All right, so we got 10,000, 20 years, 10%. Okay, so Grammy uh, passed away. And uh, she left you um, a nice uh, sum of money here. So how are we going to calculate that? Well, we know some things. What do we know? We know the present value. And remember that whole negative convention thing? I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. $10,000. Uh, I don't, I'm looking for future value, so I don't know that. Number of periods, we know that. Whoops. There we go. I'll get back on there and click the wrong website. Um, number of um, periods. We know that, right? It was 50 because you're 20 years old and uh, you're going to get, you're going to, you're saving this money for retirement, right? You're not going to spend it on a car or a trip to Europe, which <laughs> would be fun too. Um, amount of payments. We got no payments involved in this question. So we'll just try a zero and see what happens. And the interest rate, well, great rate, 10%. Ah, it keeps on bringing me to that Merriam-Webster's Dictionary, um, 10%. There we go. All right, so let's just double check. We got $10,000 Grammy left us. Um, we're going to number of periods, 50 years. We're going to still say end. We're going to payment at the end as far as that goes. Um, all right, that looks good. Let's hit... You go ahead and hit, you hit future value. Hit that button. Try it yourself. Hopefully you've been following along. All right, you got your number down there, right? Let's see what my number is. All right, $1.1 million. And some change. dollars <laughs> $1,173,973,908. $1, and let's see, are we correct? Let's move this off here and reveal the answer. Yes. Wow. Now that is power. So you're able to predict that. So there's kind of another real life um, scenario for you. All right. So let's let's do some other things now that we have this miraculous power. Uh, we're able to we're we're able to kind of calculate to the future, but let's calculate now backwards. So. What is the present value, PV, remember FV, now we got PV. What is the PV of $100 uh, due in three years if I, interest rate, equals 10%? So again, um, we have to think about it. If, um, if I owe you $100 in the future, um, what is its present value today, I guess is the way to think about it. Or the other way you could think about this question is, would, would you rather? Would you rather have $100 three years from now or some mystery present value today based on that interest rate we've established of 10%? Now, notice we've got the arrow moving backwards. Okay, we're taking this back in time to calculate this. This is where that word discounting comes in. This number is going to be less. It's going to be discounted back to come up with that initial um, present value. So um, there's that kind of the term in action here. All right, so let's, uh, let's um, we can look at it longhand. Um, 
how about but let's bring up the calculator let's do it let's do a calculator method first and then we'll take a look at the at the longhand version of that so we bring back our uh, arachnoid.com calculator and um, we have our parameters here so present value don't know that's what we're trying to find out so we can just do that i guess put a zero in there future value oh well, we know that it's a hundred dollars right um number of periods well we know that that's a three and you know they really want me to go to this um to that dictionary okay so we're going to put in three three there we go uh payments are mm, don't worry about that. Interest rate happens to be already plugged in, 10%. So that looks good. And we're going to leave the leave this always at the end unless you see something weird or told otherwise. All right, let's hit our compute our present value and see what we get. Boom. All right. Oh, I forgot my negative convention on there. Uh, see? But I would have caught myself. So we can do that. Let's try this again. Boom. There we go. $75.13. So I guess the to answer the question is, well, let's see if we're right. I think we are $75.13. They're both equal. Whether you get $100 three years from now, or you have to pay someone $100 three years from now, um, is the same amount of money if the payment, if the person wanted to take $75 today, They're, they should be equal. Let's see how we did. Well, let's watch the longhand method. The longhand method is going to be using some uh, similar formulas, but with some division in there for present value. Again, you know, I think you know what these terms are: future value, n number of periods, i interest rate. So, you know, running through some calculations in there. If you want, take your calculator out, use the use the exponent function on there. If you're familiar with how to use exponents, um, it's just to the third power. Um, it's not not too difficult, but I think you like the website probably better. And look, you get the right answer, uh, seventy-five dollars and thirteen cents. So we have um, another skill you could add to your arsenal now. You can take money from the future at some point in time, and you can bring it back to today's value because they are not equal. All right, we'll take a look at a little bit. Uh, we're going to keep on working this uh, in our next le lecture, um, so keep following along.